They didn't care whether it could have been a case of transgenderism or intersex or whatever. They just said, this is not a problem. Well, the actual report by a hospital, this is not some hokey stuff, has been leaked to a journalist and shows that Califf has male chromosomes. The IOC ought to apologise to every other woman who competed in the female boxing. We got it wrong. What's up, fight fans? Welcome to my channel. This is Johnny. In today's video, we're going to be going over the ongoing developing story about Algerian gold medal Olympian Aman Khalif and the leaked medical report that came out yesterday proving evidentially that not only did the IOC know, but Algeria knew that their fighter was a biological male. Guys, before I continue, I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to everybody who's been with me since day one. If you haven't already, could you please hit the subscribe button and the notification button. What this will allow me to do, every time I put something out that's new, it'll pop up in your feed. You'll be the first to be notified. Thank you. Guys, in this video, I have tagged the playlist that I started a few months back during the Olympics. If you guys haven't been caught up to date on this case, the Mon Khalif story, it is a frustrating one, especially if you're in the boxing world like I am and a lot of the subscribers on my page. We're also going to mention Lin Yuting, the Chinese Taipei fighter who also won gold. These two fighters were controversially suspended and kicked out and then allowed back in due to testing initially showcasing evidence that they were both born biological males. Now, the IOC denied this. They didn't test them. The IOC just said that whatever it says on their passport, we're going to let them compete in sport. They didn't let them compete in downhill skiing. They didn't let them compete in swimming. They let them compete in a combat sport, a blood sport, our sport, boxing, a very dangerous sport in which, if you remember, early 80s, two champions fought, Ray Boom Boom Mancini, Dooku Kim, 15th round, Las Vegas, Nevada, Dooku Kim never got off of his stool in the 15th, and he died. I reference this because we know it is not a sport to be taken recklessly. To think to put in a male when you know this is a biological male against females and then try to cover up, try to pull the wool past our eyes, the fans, and tell us that we're the wrong ones for questioning it is wild. So... That playlist is tagged. I posted the newest video yesterday. You can check that out. That's also tagged. Today, I'm going to go over a few different reports. I must mention, Amon Khalif's camp came out this morning, and they're defending her still. They're saying that there's going to be lawsuits. They're just trying to basically do what they have to do, get to the press, and try to put this fire out. But this fire is not going to go out. This is a medical document that's been leaked to the French media, and this is still ongoing and developing. I'm going to first read a story. This is interesting. From a website, and these links, I'm using two sources today. Both links will be in the description below. This first one is an affiliate of the Olympic Games. This is inside the games.biz. The headline says, Outlet cites leaked medical report implying Khalif is definitely a man. Now, the first half of this article goes over what I talked about yesterday. It does mention how the French journalist name. So this is where I want to start. Fast forward to Monday, which was two days ago. French journalist Jafar Aroudia's report surfaced among various international media outlets stating that she had gained access to the Algerian's medical report and was in position to affirm that the boxer has testicles. I want to pause this because all of the left and, con and liberals who attacked me during the Olympics saying that Amon Khalif has a womb, saying all these outrageous lies or facts, whatever side you're on, as if they know this fighter, this athlete personally, saying the narrative, she has a womb, she has a uterus. But this report comes out, contradicts that. But the thing, guys, you guys have to understand, they knew this. This report has only been leaked this week. This is the medical report that the IOC read and knew about in 2023. They still let this go on in 2024. This fires me up. I was born in a house of women. I was raised by my mom and three sisters, all athletes like myself. To think that one of them would have to face a man in a fight in a way that it was 
lied about and a cover up all for the sake of social justice or putting your hand up and saying that we're better than somebody else to win a gold medal when you're putting the health and the life on the line of the female athlete. This is about women's rights. This is about female sports. And this is about doing what's right. The boxer was born with testicles, no womb, no uterus, drafted collaboratively in 2023 between the Kremlin Bicenter Hospital in Paris and the Mohamed Lamine Dabing Hospital in Algiers. The document apparently details that Khalif has XY chromosomes, lacks a uterus, and hinted at a disorder called 5-alpha reductase insufficiency, which means that there is no uterus, there is no womb, there is testes, testicles that produce testosterone internally, and there is a penis that they're referring to as a micro penis. These were all facts. Everyone knew this. Sex in humans is usually determined by a pair of sex chromosomes, typically two of the same XX kind in women and two different types XY in men, as the presence of the Y chromosome is associated with triggering male development. Guys, the reason why this is important, the fact that there is no uterus and that there is testes is one major reason. The testes produce testosterone, the major male difference between females with a vagina, cervix, and ovaries, which helps produce estrogen, this does not exist in the medical files. I'm going to leave this whole article in the description below. This is the Inside the Games.biz article where they go into great detail. There's a bit of a video from the IBA president asking for an apology, asking for accountability from the IOC, from Amon Khalif, and from Algeria. And like I said, this is developing. Only time will tell if anybody is held accountable for this. Now, the second article I'm going to read has to do with the leaked report itself. The Daily Mail released this two hours ago. This will also be in the description below. The headline reads, Doctor named as co-author of leaked report said to show Amon Khalif is a biological male. That doctor breaks his silence to dismiss alleged findings as gold-winning gender row boxer takes legal action against the claims in France. Now, this is the most up-to-date article saying that the doctor has come forward, you're going to hear his name, and also saying that Khalif's camp has taken legal action. But she tried doing this a few months back, if you remember, with some uh, J.K. Rowling and Elon Musk, and nothing ever came of it. It seems like this is what they're trying to do for quality control. Whenever there is a PR sort of stunt in any sector, you're going to say you're going to take legal action. That has no merit as of yet. This is a developing story. This whole link will be in the show notes. I'm going to read you a little bit of it. Jacques Young, an endocrinologist at the Bicenter Hospital in Paris where the tests were done, reportedly co-authored the document, has told DW in Germany that he feels his name is being used to spread misinformation. In a statement to DW, the Algerian Olympic Committee said these attacks often based unsubstantiated allegations aimed to tarnish the image of an athlete who has brought honor to our nation on the international stage. We firmly condemn these attempts at destabilization which have no place in the world of sports. The IOC said it will not comment. This is funny. The IOC says it will not comment while legal action is ongoing or on media reports about unverified documents whose origins cannot be confirmed. It then repeated a statement issued following the controversy at the Paris Olympics. This is the same IOC who could have just did a test and said that they didn't have to do a test. This is the same IOC who saw the reports that clearly stated this is a biological mill and said that they were unwarranted because the source that they came at. Upon hearing the news, Pierce Morgan took the X where he slammed the IOC's decision to let Khalif compete at Paris and demanded she be stripped of her gold medal. A fuming Morgan posted to his 8.8 .8 million followers on Thursday, confirmation of what most of us said the entire time and what we have seen, Khalif is a biological male. The gold medal should now be stripped and be awarded to the best actual woman. Meanwhile, tennis legend Martina Navratilova also spoke out on the topic and backed Morgan's claim that Khalif should be stripped. Now, guys, this is ongoing. I'm leaving both articles in the description below. Read both sides. The one side is the report from the doctor. The other side 
is the coming to defense of Khalif. No new facts, though, from Khalif's side. They're just regurgitating the same statement that they said during the Olympics. They're trying to diminish her achievements. They're trying to diminish the sport. But they still haven't shown the tests. And stay tuned to the channel.